San Francisco is a unique and quirky city to visit, but it can be incredibly expensive too. However, there are ways that you can save money on your trip to the city. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide, and today we are sharing the 10 ways to save money in San Francisco. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure you hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So the first way to save some money in San Francisco is to visit in December or January, but avoid the Christmas holiday week. This will give you cheaper hotel and flight prices. The high season in San Fran is from June to August and hotel prices stay high all the way through to October. So make sure to visit in the winter for cheaper rates or head here in the spring for pleasant weather alongside those cheap prices. The next way to save some money is to book ahead. As always, one of the best ways to save money in any major city in the US is to book everything in advance. Hotels can be compared on booking.com and as always, the earlier you book them and flights, the cheaper they will work out to be. If you are visiting last minute, then use hoteltonight.com for last minute deals. Another way to save money on accommodation in San Francisco is to use Airbnb. San Francisco can be an incredibly expensive place to stay because of high hotel and hostel prices. If you are visiting in a group, family or even couple, it can work out cheaper to find yourself an Airbnb. Aim for places slightly outside of the city centre for cheaper rates. Now let's talk about ways to get cheaper flights. There are a few ways that you can save money on flights. Flying into Oakland Airport can be a cheaper option than SFO and airlines such as Southwest Airlines and JetBlue can offer cheap flights when you book directly. Also, flying midweek will save you even more money because most business travelers will fly on Mondays and Fridays. Another thing to be aware of is to check hotel fees. When booking your accommodation, check all of the details. Some hotels in San Francisco will appear cheap, but will have very high parking fees or additional charges. Next, let's talk about the free attractions. Take advantage of the many free attractions in San Francisco, such as Lombard Street, Fisherman's Wharf and Golden Gate Bridge, as well as the Golden Gate Park. These free attractions are fantastic ways to see the city without spending any money. Another great way to see the city if you are short on time and have a budget is to get a hop on hop off bus. You can catch these from Union Square and it will take you around all of the major attractions in just one day. You can choose when to hop on or hop off the bus, see all of those free attractions that we just talked about without having to worry about taxis to and from places. There are also some paid attractions that you might want to see such as Alcatraz. A few ways to pay less for these paid attractions is to book in advance and book online. Often you can get a discounted price if you book online. But you can also get the city pass. If you plan on visiting many attractions, get yourself the city pass to save some money. Also, keep an eye on the city pass website. They often have deals where they have discounted tickets that you can buy in advance. The next way to save some money is to use the public transport. Skip the rental car and use public transport whilst you're in San Francisco. With the Bay Area rapid transit system, including cable cars and trolleys, you can navigate yourself around the city with ease and cheaply. Tickets are as low as $2, which is much cheaper than getting a taxi, so make sure you stick to public transport. And our 10th tip to save some money in San Francisco is to enjoy casual dining. So San Francisco has many food options to choose from and you can easily spend a lot of money in high-end restaurants. However, there are always lots of places to get cheap food. Head to the Ferry Building Marketplace, visit the restaurants in the Mission District or use websites like Eater San Francisco to find the latest deals. So we hope you have an incredible time in San Francisco and manage to save some money on your trip. 
If you like this video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Have a wonderful time. Take care, guys. And until next time, stay creative.